All right, I know I said I wasn't going to make a video talking, but I just picked something up and so I have to. So I'm going to have to lower my hand. I'm wearing big antenna bars because my cheeks are seriously swollen. I look like a freaking chipmunk and it looks ridiculous and disgusting. So part of me ahead of time. Oh, so embarrassing. It's going to be like, oh, look at that. Oh, I'm so swollen. Oh, they look so ridiculous. But I'm five days in, so hopefully not too much longer, and I will look like a human being again. Ugh. So I got a knockoff mermaid pillow today. Now, I know it's a knockoff, and I'll show you why, but normally these retail for anywhere from $60 on Etsy to on sale like $170 in supermarket, not supermarkets, department stores to maybe three, four hundred dollars online. They all work essentially the same, so I don't see paying more than what I paid for this, which is eleven dollars. So um eleven dollars I got one and uh this chick I know she knows she made a big mistake selling them for dollar reserve because she missed out on a lot of money because here in New Zealand these haven't really come over here yet and she could have made at least 100 or 200 on them, but people here don't really know what they are. Luckily for me, I do, and I stumbled across them, so yay. So this is a color I picked out, and it is um, like a maroon red kind of color, and it flashes over to white. See, so knockoff or not, it works the same. Now, um, I can tell this is a knockoff because you see around the edges, the sequins like they're sewn into the seam like they're sewn in right there and it just looks really gross like I can't you can't push these down there they're sewn in see all the way around which I think is just really cheap but the pillow itself the cushion itself is, is nice and soft and so um, I took a video on the car but I'll see if I can show you guys here Let's lower this. Um, so going down, it feels quite stiff going down, but it's it's like a really nice feeling at the same time. And then um, going up feels really good. <laughs> feels really good. You can't really draw with this one. Like you can, you know, like the really expensive ones, you can kind of write your name. But if I was to try to write, since some of them don't flip back over again, see like um, right here, they're kind of bent out of shape under here somewhere. There's one that's, there's a couple that are flipped over underneath, but I, I don't care. Like I said, $11, I'll put up with these little screw ups. But so if I try to write, Raven. It's, it's not as easy to write. I can write upside down. I can't write an E. Try it like that. Ugh, that doesn't really work. <laughs> so yeah I suck balls did I get that right side <laughs> I did my end backwards oh my god I'm so stupid but uh yeah see that that's just all stuck for a minute and see those you gotta kind of flip them around yourself to get them back but overall it's the same thing and it's really cool so if anybody wants one of these, I would suggest not paying a lot because the cheapy ones will do the same thing and it's enough to keep you entertained. You just might have to do a little bit of work and flip them around yourself, you know, things like this that kind of stick up. And it is quite cool. I see myself playing with this quite a bit. <laughs> Ugh, it's so hard to write with. Whoa, that's my retarded smiley face. It just doesn't work. I'm not right-handed either. 
<laughs> so, oh God, this is like, um, do you remember, I don't know if you, you older people remember this little magnetic things. So you used to take this magnetic pencil and you'd sit there and you could draw with it. Um, I don't know. Uh, I used to have one as a kid and it was so cool. And this kind of reminds me of that. There was a heart drawn on the picture of this one. I don't know how she did it. Hearts are hard to draw. So he just doesn't, I'm really not good at drawing. Oh, there you go. <laughs> There's a retarded heart. Um, but yeah, it's quite interesting. And I just thought I would show you guys. I never thought I would get one because I've seen them online and they are crazy expensive. So I just wanted to share my experience with this one with you guys, and yeah, it's actually focusing. So they're just little sequins that are attached, and it totally does look like mermaid scales, and oh, they had another one there. It was white with like a pearlescent white underneath, which is kind of boring. Then they had this one, then they had one that was like a, a more of a red color with I don't even remember what color underneath. Where's that one? And then they had a blue one that was really mermaid looking. Um, the blue one has like green scales underneath. So that was pretty cool. And um, all in all, I love it. And I'm gonna be playing with it lots and stuff. And yeah, so now I probably won't make another video until my cheeks go down a bit and I feel not so stupid. Um, I have a tattoo appointment tomorrow, so I will have to show that at some point, which means I probably will talk again, but maybe I won't show my face depending on how screwed up my face looks. And so I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow when I upload that video. And then I'm going to take a break from my face because I really don't want to be ridiculed. And I will see you guys soon. Thank you so much for watching. And thank you so much to my new subscribers because I have a lot of new subscribers and a lot of cool new people. And I just wanted to say that you guys are awesome. There's so many sweet people out there. And I look forward to reading your comments every day. And I answer everybody. I'm not one of those people that like just doesn't respond. I talk back to everybody. And so all your comments and support mean a lot to me. I love interaction with people. And um waking up and having lots of cool comments really makes my day so i just want to say a huge thank you to you guys and i'll see you guys tomorrow bye, -bye.